Hi everyone, this is Sarah Fezio, and today I'm trying out another brand of house paint. Today I am going to be painting with Bare Premium Plus Ultra Interior Exterior um, Paint. And I have three colors of that. I have this one right here, which is Majestic Blue. I have Desert Coral. And the one I haven't mixed up yet is going to be Citronette. In addition, I have Liquitex Basics in that bright aqua green that I like, and then also Artist Loft White. So let me tell you what happened. This is because I wasn't planning on doing this. I went to the Home Depot after work, and I have my notes here on my phone, sorry. Um, I went to Home Depot after work, it was payday. We had state testing today and um, I'm in charge of all that stuff. So, you know, I needed, to, I was like, I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to buy some paint and I walk in and guess what? The bear paint representative was there. His name was John and I talked to him for like 40, 45 minutes it seems. And he explained to me all about bare paint and was very receptive uh, to me asking him like tons of questions. So what I found out is that there are, and you can see the consistency is almost like a soft bodied uh, artist paint. I'm adding a little bit of water. So he basically said there's three lines that you can buy a sample in at Home Depot and those would be your premium plus premium plus ultra and bare marquee now the premium plus is good the premium plus ultra is better and then the best would be bare marquee but how do i say that okay so the pre the the premium plus comes in flat finish only. It's $3.27 per sample. The Premium Plus Ultra comes in satin or flat and that's $3.48 or so. And then the marquee samples can go up to $5. So I think mine were like $4 and some cents and they come in flat, eggshell, and semi-gloss. All of them are 100% acrylic and I was very excited because I asked him like a thousand questions, which I, he was very nice and very receptive. And he actually walked over, he opened the paint, he showed it to me, and he gave me some good news that I'm going to show you guys in another video about bear, a bear product that you can use. Um, I had seen it, I had heard about it, but the information I got was a little bit incorrect, so I asked him. So there is a bear product that you can use. Um, like a pouring medium kind of just like a, a clear liquid that you can use so I was very excited about that so I'm using five colors today um, and if you have any questions about bear he was very knowledgeable um, he I asked him you know are you sure these are acrylic and he said yes and I said well what's in the other paint because you know the other company I called couldn't tell me that and he basically was able to tell me it's vinyl and um, and we were talking about a bear and kills kills k-i-l-z um, makes uh, primers and stuff you can put on the wall and he basically explained that and I'm adding GAC 800 as I'm talking so he basically explained that um, there are some products you could use there and they would be fine if you varnished them and then they, they had a kills pva and i thought okay i know some people that pour with pva glue right like wood glue and he said well you could but pva is polyvinyl or something other word right pva and I said, okay, so vi the vinyl in that isn't as good quality as the acrylic. And we talked about um, 
that's why I'm not trying the PVA glue. Um, we talked about the house paint versus like a craft paint you might buy in the store. The craft paint is less expensive, but not really when it's only $3, 3 to $4 for a sample and you can do several pours with a sample because there's like eight ounces in there, I think. 7.25 ounces um, for four dollars right so there's more pigment in this paint but he basically said that all the paints in the store use the same pigments and he said this stuff has a lifetime guarantee if you put a coat of varnish or UV protectant on it it's not gonna fade and it wouldn't fade inside a house unless you happen to um, have it in direct sunlight or whatever. So I, I got a lot of useful information out and I said, okay, well, I'm gonna mention you on my YouTube video because you were so helpful. And of course, then after he left, uh, Thomas at, or Tom at Home Depot mixed up my samples that I got. So here's the consistency of my paints. The house paint is just a little bit thinner So these three are house paints. And I asked about, well, it comes with primer. He's like, well, it doesn't really have it. He, I, I forgot what he told me, but he basically said it is like, it is primer, but it's not like the primer you buy by itself. And it makes, it's, it allows you to add the pigment to it, I think is what he was saying and that it wasn't fully opaque I think I can't remember I asked so many questions and of course I wasn't prepared for that so did I have a notepad or anything no so I took some notes on my phone let me see what else I put on here um, and I'll put um, I'll put a guide to like the prices and the finishes you can get in the bear samples and of course y'all if you don't have bear or Home Depot bear is B E H R bare paint and I'll put that on my artist page on Facebook so Sarah Fezio artist but I decided to do a little bit of painting tonight and I'm not going to add any dimethicone or silicone to this um, but I decided to do some painting tonight because we had testing today and it went really well so I'm very happy um, here's my white I almost think it should be just a little bit thinner. I'm just going to add a little more water. As you know, I use more white. I'm actually going to layer it in between. And when I pour my paint into my cup, there's a hair. I pinned my hair up, but um, when I pour my paint into my cup, I start with white on the bottom. And I'm going to try to layer the Artist Loft or the Liquitex with the house paint. So we're going to start with some white in the bottom of the cup. And our canvas today is a 12 by 12 inch gallery wrapped canvas. So we're going to do white. And then we're going to do this really nice citro citronette. C-I-T-R-O-N-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, citronette color. And I think that it's actually thickened up since I've first mixed it. Okay, citronette. And I hope you guys can see. Almost, not quite. Let me move it just a little bit right there. Okay. This is from about a foot up. I'm gonna pour that in. I'm gonna save a little bit of it. Right away, I can see it looks like it's floating on top of the white, so that's good. Just a little bit more white. And I'm trying to get it to layer on top like that. See how those little, of course it just goes straight under. 
and then I'll do some of the Liquitex Basics teal. Okay, and we're going to add some white. Maybe I shouldn't use the orange now. I'm kind of concerned that it's all going to look muddy. I'm just going to hold the orange to the side. The blue has definitely thickened up. A little more water. Maybe too much water. But it didn't seem very runny when I was going to pour it in. So here's the blue. Very nice so far. White. Let's do some of the citronette color again. Look at that. I think I have plenty of paint, but we're going to keep going. Some teal. Some more white. That was a clump. Oh yeah, that's plenty of paint. And where did my blue go? There's, there's more paint than I need here. I'm going to tell you right now. And my blue. But that may look good just like that. I'm not going to put the orange in. Because I'm afraid the blue and the orange, it's not going to look good. I'm, I'm afraid. And what I see in the cup right now looks pretty good. So I'm just going to hold off on that. I'm going to move these cups over a little bit because it's going to be very messy. I already know this. The paint also is like extremely low VOC. So it's not off-gassing very much. It's not releasing fumes or anything like that. However, I have found that when I use a lot of house paint at once, and I mean like when I did the 24 by 24 and the 24 by 36, which you can check in the iCard. Um, it, I don't know, it was like three in the morning and I hadn't, I mean, it seemed like it was three in the morning. I hadn't really eaten. Actually, it was like midnight. I hadn't really eaten and it was very hot because I was wearing long sleeves because I was all on camera and I didn't want to wear anything I wanted to get ruined. And I just noticed that sometimes I feel like I get a headache. So you want to do this in a well-ventilated room or you want to pour, move your canvas, and then clean up right afterwards and not let it um, dry. So this is a 12 by 12 inch gallery wrapped canvas. Now, the other night I did this and I actually spilled the paint everywhere. Well, I didn't spill it everywhere. It all went on my table here, but I know everyone's had that. Is it going to spill? So I have, you can clearly see all the paint I was pouring hit the bottom of the cup. And what I see on the side is absolutely gorgeous. I see lots of design. I should probably move my phone. So we'll see if we can get cells with just basically paint and water. I think we might, but we'll have to wait until we lift the cup and hope it all doesn't turn into one color. I always have the orange on the side if I want to drip the orange over it, which is a possibility. I could have put the orange next to the yellow now that I think about it. but. Okay, 
I used two cups for this because I have a tendency to crush the cups. I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. And hopefully you can see that. I don't know if you can or not, but that is the cup. Real interesting stuff going on. So let's go ahead and lift this. And I'm going to just move my water really out of the way because I have a tendency to drop stuff in my water, drop stuff all over. I don't want to do that. And we're going to lift the cup. Some cells, cells over here, those aren't air bubbles, cells in the middle, there are cells forming. They're not very big, but I don't want to waste time. I want to start lift, tilting my canvas. If they pour off, that's okay. Oh, but look at that. Look at that right there. I really don't want that stuff to tilt off, but I have to. I mean, I absolutely have to pour some of this off. Although I feel like all the yellow, the pretty yellow colors going off. I have yellow all down the side. Got to set it down. Now remember, whenever whatever runs off the side, I have cells going down the side, is what you want to pick up and put back on the canvas so that it matches. Of course, my cover, my corner over here doesn't have anything on it. Excuse my head. I got a pretty lavender color here on this side. Oops. I just want to put enough on there so that it runs down and coats my gallery wrapped canvas. So I definitely got blue and white cells. I've got something interesting here. Some nice stuff going on right here as well. Just coating the side. Not too much ran off. Okay. can't see the other side. It's almost like some sort of weird sun effect and you can definitely see a green over there. Definitely we have cells. We had really interesting yellow green cells but they ended up on the edge of the Thing. I'm just going to turn it so that I can check this side over here. This side's pretty much covered. This side is not. Oh, I got it on the. Did I get on that? I got it on the floor. And I need this green right here for this side right here. I know this is kind of the boring part when I have to clean up or clean up the maintenance on the canvas. So, very interesting. And I don't know if you can see it, but 
it's almost like this is a little bit of lacing in here or cells that didn't quite form. I kind of, I'm not going to be able to tilt this yellow over, but it has very unique colors in it. But I would have loved it if the dark blue would have been in the center. I wonder if, I don't want to drop it. I just want it to be a little bit more of an interesting composition, you know? I think that green cell just formed. That'll be good. Put a little of that there. Okay. So I didn't add anything to this. I didn't torch it or anything. It'll be interesting to see if the color changes or if it stays the same. But definitely, I mean, I say it's colors I like, but the aqua green obviously blended with the yellow. We have almost what looks like a sun, but you can see these cells, I don't, th those aren't air bubbles either. All of this is selling there's more cells under here. This is some interesting stuff that formed. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And maybe if I'm lucky, these blue cells in here will really um, start to pop if the white sinks. Because I, I really like it. I think it looks really great. I like the bare paint. It did a good job. It's thicker than the Glidden House paint. It's a little bit thinner than the Valspar. It's like, it's like a, um, how would you say? It's, it's like a, um, well, a soft body paint. So this is what you can do with paint, water, and bare house paint. And then, of course, two artists, uh, like an artist loft and a Liquitex, or you could use, could have used two artist loft. Um, but I do think that you're more prone to get the cells when you mix them, when you have the house paint and then the artist paint. So I really like this. I do feel like the cells kind of appeared on the edge because they kind of have dripped down, but the the whole side is covered, so that's really nice, and it won't ever need to be framed. Um, but yeah, I like it. I mean, I see some stuff trying to form down here as I'm looking. So a little bit of green here, here. I can't tell. Here's the thing. When I'm doing this, I can't, you guys can see, or if I fast forward it, the way to really see if cells form is to like fast forward it and then go back and look. So it's possible this is going to continue to change. But anyway, check out the bare paint that is now a third brand of house paint that you could use. Um, I really liked it. It did really well. We got cells and I'm not sponsored or anything guys. So, you know, I'm not sponsored. So please don't think that I just, you know, the guys at Home Depot were great. John from Bear was great. He talked to me, gave me his business card if I had any further questions. And then I went to Michael's and I picked up the Liquitex and 
they're great too at my, my local Michaels, which I know I've seen comments on Facebook that you guys appreciate your peeps at um, Michaels and the other places that you shop. So anyhow, I hope you like watching this video. I hope it, it gave you some, um, gave you an opportunity if you uh, go to the store and you're trying to determine what colors or whatever. Um, the colors I chose were home decorators colors and they're kind of like in a small section and they had some brighter colors than what I can get in Valspar or Glidden. So that was really nice um, to know that. And also I would suggest if you go to the store and the person you talk to tells you they can't mix up a sample See, because obviously they mix paint, no matter what brand, right? Because they have mis mixed up stuff, right? So I would suggest that if you do go and you get someone that says they can't make you a sample, I would suggest waiting till someone else is there or see if maybe there's someone else that's been there longer or whatever and, and that can get it done for you because they, they do a really good job at Home Depot. So anyhow, I hope you guys liked this. If you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe to see more videos, go to my Facebook artist page and I'll show a picture of the dried canvas. Um, also, I'm gonna put the information about the different bare paint types and I'll probably include all the different ones that I've tried. I'll make a document and, up, and see if I can um, upload it on there. And if you have any comments or questions, please put those below and I will get back to them as soon as possible. I want to thank everyone for watching. I want to thank everyone that's been watching the ads and clicking on the ads. I really, really appreciate that. I hope you guys have a great evening. Lots of love. Bye. Okay, just for kicks. I went ahead and put the orange and what was left of all the colors. I just kind of dumped it in a, a cup and there's orange and blue cells in there. So I'm just letting the rest of the paint kind of drip down. There might not be enough to cover this canvas, but that's okay. This was a canvas I'm not going to use again. It's an 8 by 10 canvas panel and I don't have any blank ones or I would use that and here's my green I'm just gonna put this out of course you know the autofocus is probably not on I think you can see so I'm just kind of dumping whatever's left in there we'll see what comes out right you know I don't like to waste paint but there is some stuff on there still from um, the last thing I did that I couldn't get off I actually set a paint skin a skin from a pouring medium pour on the canvas and the blue the orange I like with this the the orange looks good with it not gonna lie We'll see what happens here in a minute when I put what's left, which is only this much in my cup, um, on this canvas and we'll see. We'll see what happens. I could just smear it on there like that. Um, I think I'm just going to pour it in the middle.
Okay. Something makes me think I should have put the orange in there. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Nice. Nice. Not as nice, but not too bad right there. I need uh, something to go right here. It's kind of thin. Okay, so I got two for the price of one. I don't like to waste paint, y'all. And you get a bonus video. Shh, don't tell. You have to watch till the end. Just kidding. You can leave comments in the below about this one, too. Just a little bit of air. Very nice. I think I like the I like the eight by ten better. Wow. There you go. Bonus pour at the end when I decided during cleanup I didn't want to waste my paint. There you go. But interestingly enough, I got another yellow little yellow thing at the bottom. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed that. Have a good night. Bye y'all. Lots of love.